In this tutorial, we're going to review the Iowa Scuba Club's website in general and some of its features. To access the Iowa Scuba Club's website, we're going to go to iowascuba.org. This is the Scuba Club's homepage. Some of the things you'll notice immediately is the upcoming events box, which updates automatically as you create calendar events. This will be covered in a later tutorial. Additionally, you'll see the latest news box. This box is automatically updated from the latest Twitter status from the University of Iowa Scuba Club. Additionally, you'll see a large membership box, which encourages people to join the University of Iowa Scuba Club. You'll see a travel map, and how to update the travel map can be updated in a later tutorial. You'll also see a video that encourages people to join the University of Iowa Scuba Club. And you'll see some of the Scuba Club sponsors that are responsible for donating and making the club possible. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a login form and also a form to subscribe to the mailing list. You'll also see a menu, including site map, information about membership, about us, contact us, links, meeting minutes, latest newsletters, information about night games, and the Scuba Club's terms and conditions. At the top, there's a YouTube channel, the Twitter channel, and Facebook page. In the About Us menu, there's a membership page which provides information about becoming a Scuba Club member, which allows people to follow through, reaching the Join membership form. Alternatively, people can just click on the text on the left-hand side of the page, which brings them to the registration form. The Scuba Club has an About Us page, including a video featuring the Scuba Club on the Big Ten Network. The Scuba Club's mission, some of the equipment that we use, including a digital camera and HD camcorder, information about college credit, with a link to the member section of the website, which includes additional information. And there's also the Contact Us page. For members, there's a section on the Scuba Club Apparel. An archive of newsletters. A forum. A calendar. And event registration. Event registration is limited to members only and will prompt you to become a member before registering for events. It's important that if you add events to the website, and you encourage people to join through the website and activate their memberships, otherwise they will not be able to access event registration. This is one of the key ways to get people to join the Scuba Club, is by posting events which will automatically fill in under the upcoming events box, and encouraging them to join, otherwise they won't be able to register. There's also a useful download section that includes useful things like the latest PowerPoints from the latest meetings, There's also a meeting minutes section. And then accessing your profile and your registration records, both of which can only be accessed once logged in. In addition, there's a courses menu, which includes information on all of the Scuba Club's courses, as well as a list of all PADI courses. Under media, this is Scuba Club's YouTube channel, our latest newsletters, as well as a photo section. Under activities, these are some of the things that Scuba Club participates in, including night games.
At the bottom of the Night Games page is the Night Games waiver. This waiver can be completed, filled out ahead of time, and brought to the Night Games event. You'll notice that this is a publicly downloadable file. Additionally, the Scuba Club has participated in community service and work projects around the university, including helping at the University of Iowa pool. The Scuba Club has monthly meetings to keep members apprised of activities, as well as allow them to retrieve raffle tickets and participate in giveaways and raffles. Each year, the Scuba Club usually has two cookouts. We've had a few movie nights, and the night on the town, which some might call a bar crawl. In addition, under the local diving, in addition, under the travel menu, there's local diving and extended trips that we've taken. This sums up the Scuba Club's website from the front end. Once logging in, there will be two noticeable changes. First is the membership upgrade options. If you're not already a club member with an active membership, it will prompt you to upgrade to the membership that allows you access to the event registration. This is the event registration page. Once events have been created, they'll be listed down the page with a register button. Members are encouraged if not required, to register for events. That way the Scuba Club can keep track of who's attending events and make sure that non-paid members are not coming to Scuba Club events. It's an excellent way to keep attendance and track everything. Members can log out by clicking Log Out. That concludes the basic tutorial on the features of the Scuba Club website for general members.